Lazy K Ranch here checking in. Uh, Lazy K Ranch here reporting live from Princess and the P. I don't know. Kermit the Frog reference. Not a very good one. Anyways, as you can see, I got lots of rock in that mud hole that was right here. Filled it all in. It was two pickup trucks. Still gotta be raked a little bit and driven over. But at least it won't get stuck in the mud now. Yay. Uh, next project is to uh, work on that tire again up there. Apparently there's a leak or some kind. So that's what I'm off to do. When you're going to the nursery to get rocks um, in the back of your pickup truck, it's a lot easier if you put a tarp down on the back of the truck. Uh, especially if you're by yourself or just a, a couple of you. What you do is you lay the tarp down flat and open, of course. And then the rock will go here in the middle of your pickup, a little more towards the back over the axle. And when you get low enough, you can grab the front end of the tarp up here and pull, and you can dump the rocks down on the ground in a much easier than continue to shovel it out of the back of your truck. And of course, that'd give you the added bonus of rocks not getting into this space right here. Though if rocks do get into this space right here, trucks are designed for the hinges to release when they get pressured back. So, or you can figure out where the opening is on your hinge right here. That's, see, we, see that? So you can pull the back of your tailgate off. You will not break it. They are designed to come off. Wonderful safety feature. Uh, I have a nursery I go to. They have bulk rocks and uh, dirt and mulch and stuff like that. It's $20 for one skid loader bucket of that river rock. Most half ton pickup trucks can handle a scoop. Uh, I wouldn't push it past one though. It does make you go uphill a little bit. So try to do it close if you can. Um, I have seen people use those little utility trailers that have small wood sides on them or they put a small wood side on it. That of course can handle a scoop. Um, if you can handle your four wheeler, it can handle a scoop of rock. So that's it. I have to go get another load because I still have a hole there. Uh, peace out. Okay, like I said, I'm gonna deal with this thing again. As you can see here, I got it on. It stayed on with air in it and then the air leaked out, obviously. So I'm gonna pick it up again. I got some of that tire goo. I had some left over. So we'll see if that works. Uh, so now my problem is I had it lifted but up so I could rotate the tire around. But I did that with somebody here with me. So now we're gonna try to do it with nobody here and holding on to a phone at the same time. So we can get it up in the air. Ta -da. Turn it this way. Even sturdier. There we go. So how do we keep it? Oopsie, it's up in the air. Whew. How do I put it in the air? and be able to reach and get that block underneath there. So I thought, why not put a counterweight a little bit, put a couple of these blocks on the end of my two by four. So I'm gonna give that a shot. Let's we'll see what happens. I'm gonna sit you down for a second. There, you went on the ground. <clears throat> I 
I think it's gonna work. Okay. So the idea being it's too hard to hold that, hold this end and move that block underneath there by myself. These blocks weigh 36 pounds each. So as a counterweight, as you see, I'm just one finger pushing it down and it's lifting it up quite. So I should be able to push or even pull up right there by it and uh, and get it uh, get it underneath there. So let's let's see if that works. I'll just set you right here. You may or may not get this. We'll see. I hope you get this. I'm not even gonna look to see what you're seeing, but this should be fun. Fun games. I'm gonna lift. Ooh, that's a little heavier than I thought it would be. Pull up. Okay, there we go. Now you're gonna see is that block. Oh, get underneath there. Come on. Come here. Well, it's under, but I'd like it to be a little closer, or more, so here we go again. Let's see what we can do. Oh, that was my finger. Woohoo! Yeah! Good thing I got these leather gloves of plus one protection. So I don't know what you guys saw, but what I did was I pulled up when I was standing there, letting the counterweight help me hold it so I could slide that block underneath there so my tires are up off the rims, or up off the ground. That one's off the rim. Whew, I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. So another thing you need to help with this, a little bit of soapy water. So it's just water, soap. Um, gonna take a rag, towel, anything that you don't care about. And you wanna try to get it in the rim, I believe. I don't know exactly what I'm doing. So go down like that. Okay, so you want to get it around on the tire and on the rim. Soap will help the tire slide back into place. Uh, we're going to put that strap on there. Just squeeze it out and then we'll put air in it. Right back. Alright, we're back. I put the strap on around the tire. Um, while we were gone. It's just a normal ratchet strap. It's on itself. Ratchet it down so it can stay right now. The theory of course being that it'll push the side walls, these side walls right here, of the tire up against the rim when the air goes in there. So I'm gonna pause, put the air in, and see what happens. So we're back and didn't that work like it did last time? So you can see it's pretty tightened down. The last time I did leave the strap on overnight. So we're gonna give that a shot and uh, see how that works. Uh, fun fact, if you're gonna be doing this with the strap, um, make sure that your air nozzle is in an accessible place to where your ratchet is because you may not be able to turn all the way around and your ratchet will get in the way. Uh, it, it, it's a truth, serious fact. Just learned it. So take my word for it. 
All right, I think that's all I'm gonna be doing for tonight. So, hope everybody had a good weekend. Mother's Day is coming up. Fishing opener for some. Uh, peace, I think. Never know how to end. <laughs>